Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to uninstall Norton Trial on your PC. A lot of laptops, a lot of computers, uh, desktops come with a 30-day trial of Norton Antivirus on their uh, Windows 8 machine and a lot of you don't want this and actually if you are the kind of person that you know does just little uh, email and a little bit of search don't really download any programs and stuff I think the um, Windows Defender protection in Windows 8 is more than enough to actually um, work so if you've got Norton you'll notice that you have a yellow icon you'll have one here on the bottom in the uh, taskbar also and uh, so if you want to uninstall it and activate the uh, Windows Defender all you have to do is right click in the bottom left here you'll go into the control panel and you'll actually have the programs in feature tab if you have categories you will have programs and uninstall a program so uh, either you click here or if you have icons well just click programs and features in the list of programs that you see appearing on your computer you'll search for Norton antivirus uh, or Norton internet security in my case it's Norton 360 and click uninstall it's gonna start the uninstall of Norton so here you uh, have that first panel I uh, if you don't never never want to have Norton again just click please remove all user data so that everything is removed it will of course say well do you want to keep Norton identity safe for free um, I don't really want it so you say no thanks at the bottom right you see the how small no thanks is compared to yeah let's continue uh, this is something that really really annoys me about software uh, you know they should at least be the same size so you click no thanks at the bottom right and then you click next depending on your computer and uninstalling Norton might uh, take anywhere from um, you know 30 seconds 45 seconds to a minute uh, I've seen computers that took several minutes before you had the Norton uninstalled from your computer you should actually see that icon uh, being removed from your taskbar like I just did if you still see it just pass your uh, mouse pointer over it and you see that it disappears so let it un uninstall and uh, you can then install whatever antivirus you might want to have or uh, like I said the Windows Defender in Windows 8 is actually a good choice um, if you're not that much of a uh, computer um, you know user that downloads everything that he sees on the web um, because I remind you that if you are a power user you download lots of stuff it's better to have a paid antivirus it's always better and there's more performance out of it but um, I would say from probably like 75 percent of everyone that I see uh, Windows Defender is actually um, enough to protect and then you got that big restart now button and that's what you'll click I won't click it because it's, it's gonna stop the uh, program recording but that's how you'll actually uninstall it now some of you will probably say well I get an error message when I download when I uninstall uh, Norton 360 if that is a problem for you if you do have a problem what I suggest is that you get a Norton uninstall tool or utility check for a Norton uninstall using Norton removal tool um, and you see here this is the page where you'll have it download and run the Norton removal tool in, to uninstall your Norton product now um, you'll have the remo removal tool download on that page 
remember one thing is that removal of uh, Norton through this utility is a little dangerous because it does uninstall it quite in a very direct way by removing all sorts of information so it rarely happens but I've seen cases where using the removal tool actually breaks something in Windows so uh, be careful make sure that you try it through the uninstall that I've shown you first if you um, can't restart your computer and just try it again maybe something's happening and it can't right now but if you restart your computer up oh, it might work and in the last 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 resort then you'll download and run the Norton removal tool and uninstall it via this tool and this will really really remove it uh, removal tool does remove it whatever happens to your Norton when you try to uninstall it this one will install uninstall it for sure but this is the last resort like I said if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about. Maybe you have a problem. Uh, share it with us and uh, either someone can maybe answer or if we can, we'll make a video and show you how to do it. And hopefully everything will work well with your Windows 8 install. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.